Yes. Thank you. My name is Mutlu Sibiloglu. I'm an analyst on Kurdish affairs. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, during your speech, I never heard you mention Kurds, uh, where they control a large portion of Syria, and they are the main power fighting uh, Qaeda related Nusra and ISIS. So, what is your take on uh, what do you think about Kurds? Also, our Christian Science Monitor last week, there was a report of, uh, on your comments that the uh, U.S. should talk to PYD, uh, provided that PYD is respecting the integrity of the unity of Syria. What's your comment on this? Thanks a lot. Yeah. Um, there are many communities in Syria which I didn't mention specifically. Um, it's, there are a lot of different communities in, in Syria. So uh, with respect to the Kurds, a couple of key things I want to say. Number one, um, they are um, heavily threatened, seriously threatened, by al-Qaeda elements who have been fighting them in places uh, like Tel Abyad and up around uh, Kamishli. Um, and they have, in some cases, they've inflicted real casualties on the uh, Dawla Islamiyah, the Islamic State um, elements that are circulating up there. Um, that said, um, the main group, and it's, again, it's a militia, um, which is controlling a lot of those Kurdish communities up there, which is the PYD, um, has a variety of sensitivities surrounding it. Uh, number one, um, it has an affiliation with the PKK, um, which we and our Turkish friends view as a terrorist organization, the PKK. Um, and so what is the PYD's position about terrorism? That's the first question. Second, the PYD itself um, seizes opposition people and holds them uh, without trial. Um, they are not operating as a democratic force in that northeastern uh, quadrant of, of Syria. Third, the PYD, without reference to any other community in Syria, declared an autonomous zone. The Americans haven't taken a position for or against that. That really is a Syrian decision. It's not something for the foreigners to make a decision about. However, we do think that it's a constitutional question and needs to be addressed within the context of broader discussions about the ruling system in Syria, because just as the Kurds may want an autonomous region, maybe other parts of Syria will want that too. That has to be decided among Syrians, and it needs to be settled politically so that it doesn't become a new source of fighting even after the Assad regime departs. So the way in which the PYD did that actually aggravates political tensions, and it plays, in fact, in favor of the regime in Damascus. So um, there are a lot of questions still about the way the PYD operates and the way it, it, it acts. Which gets then into the question of can Syria be, can its territorial integrity and its unity be maintained? What I would say on this is um, it's certainly what we want. It is certainly what we want. And it is, I think, very much what its neighbors, Turkey, Jordan, Iraq, Lebanon, and other countries in the region the Saudis and other states in the Gulf, the Egyptians, and the Europeans and the United States. We all agree that that territorial unity needs to be maintained. But there are a lot of forces, centrifugal forces, pulling at it. The PYD is not the only one. And so the sooner this conflict is resolved politically, uh, the easier it's going to be to maintain that territorial unity. In the end, um, we had to have a political deal at Taif. And uh, I'm not saying that's the way to solve the Syrian crisis, but again, the focus on politics uh, as the way to resolve the issue. Robert, thank you. Please join me in uh, thanking Ambassador Ford for a terrific conversation. Robert, thank, thank you, you so much.